Hello and welcome to video about firmware upgrade uh, service and stack update in STM32WB microcontroller using STM32Q programmer. In this video I will shortly describe memory map of uh, STM32WB microcontroller, show you where to get tools and software needed for upgrade of fuse and stack and then also uh, demonstrate all steps needed for update with uh, SWD debugger connection or true bootloader interfaces, which can be UART or USB DFU. Let's start with a quick look on STM32WB memory map. Using option bytes, it's set uh, split between secured and non-secured memory. Upper part of flash memory is intended uh, for fuse, RF stack and user keys for security application. This location is secured. Only CPU2 can access this area. Size of secured part is flexible, determined by option bytes SFSA, which is set during stack or fuse update. Unsecured uh, flash area can be accessed by both cores and it's intended uh, for application code and data. Also, SRAM2 memory can be split to secured and non-secured part using option bytes. And like for flash, only CPU2 can access secured RAM. Goal of this video is to show you how to update secured part of flash using STM32Q programmer. Uh, let's take a look uh, on uh, the resources which we need and where to get them. First one is STM32Q programmer. So if you go to st.com and enter the keyword STM32Q programmer, you can download uh, up to date uh, software uh, for the platform which you are using. Second thing we need is STM32CubeWB firmware package, which we can download either through STMCubeMX or CubeID or directly again on st.com, either from GitHub or directly here. Let's move to hands-on part. I have now connected Pinuclo WB55 to my PC with uh, the jumper connection as shown on the slide and using uh, connector CN15. Important is also to uh, locate uh, the repository for WB uh, you have just downloaded and there is the folder with uh, wireless binaries uh, for uh, my microcontroller. First uh, source here is the release node. In the release node you can find all the details about the update procedure, changes between the version in the stack and uh, mainly what we will use now, the addresses of the stack uh, where to load it. So now let's jump to the Q programmer. As I have connected the board uh, with the SWD debugger, I go for connect and click to the uh, wireless part. Uh, with the SWD I need to start with pressing start fuse operator. Once fuse operator is started I can read the fuse version and now I can take either fuse or the wireless tag binary, paste it into the file path, uh, set the correct uh, start address and go for firmware upgrade. First older fuse is deleted, then the upgrade itself is done. So after fuse update I can uh, jump also to stack update where I need to enter different address according to the release node. Again first delete then upgrade itself. And now is uh, device ready to use. Fuse and stack update is possible also from the system bootloader. Uh, to do that, I need to be sure that uh, microcontroller start from the bootloader. There is multiple way to do that. Uh, I will use the option bytes on STM32WB. So I will connect using the SWD and in the user configuration ensure that uh, S, uh, N, SW boot 0 is unchecked and the same for N boot 0. Apply. OK and I can disconnect and now I need to set the microcontroller on the board to one of the configuration which allows start into bootloader. For the uh, USB DFU 
I need to use a second uh, USB connector and uh, if I want to power the board from the ST-Link I need to switch the JP1 jumper configuration. Equivalently I can use also the UART connection which is connected to the ST-Link virtual COM port. In this case I will use again the CN15 so the ST-Link USB connection, jumper configuration like for original configuration with debugger and since the pins are not uh, connected directly to UART, I need to use the jumper cable as described on the picture. Now I configured my board to be used with a USB bootloader and I can connect using stm 32 key programmer. So I will switch to USB, refresh and connect. Now uh, go to wireless tab. Since I am using the bootloader, I don't have to start the fuse and I can directly enter the path for my binaries and uh, enter the addresses. And in the same way like for uh, SWD, I will do the upgrade of uh, firstly fuse. Done. And also the stack. Thank you for your attention and looking forward to meet you during next videos.